हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम रीति कुमारी एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ द डी बी एम एस सीरीज सो इन द लास्ट सेट ऑफ लेक्चर्स वी लर्न मोर अबाउट डेटा बेसिस डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम द नीड ऑफ डी बी एम एस एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवाटेजेस टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा बेसिस एंड मच मोर सो राइट नाउ वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद डेटा एब्सट्रैक्शन इट इज लाइक अमंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स विच आर बींग आज इन द सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स इन इंटरव्यूज ऑल्सो इफ इंटरव्यूर वॉन्ट्स टू आज दे कैन आस्क अबाउट डेटा एब्सट्रैक्शन बिकॉज इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डीले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन इट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू वर्ड्स डेटा एंड एब्सट्रैक्शन सो डेटा बेसिकली इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ रॉ facts and abstraction you can understand in simpler terms is hiding something so whenever we are hiding some internal information or some internal details which a user doesn't needs to know it is called as data abstraction so first let's see the definition and then we will understand with an example so basically database systems are built with complex ways of organizing data to make it easier for people to use the database the creators hide the complicated stuff that users don't need to worry about the hiding of unnecessary things from user is called as data abstraction now let's see from an example so consider that i am having a database okay this is a student database now uh, i am concerned about what all data i am putting in the student database like the roll number student name and different things but am i concerned about where this database is being stored in my disk which memory location this particular database is being stored no like why it matters to me na ki where my database is being stored in which memory location it is being stored what kind of data structure it is using for being stored like b trees or hashing like i am not concerned about all those internal details or all those details which are not concerned to me i am just concerned about data at a higher level i want to do some data manipulation i want to do some insertion i want to do some update in the data but i am not concerned about where my database is being stored where the data is being stored in a particular memory location so i'm not concerned with all those details so this is data abstraction the hiding of unnecessary things from users is called as data abstraction so basically i'm hiding or some unnecessary details or some details which is not not very much adds a meaning to me so that particular data i am or that particular information i am hiding from the user so i am not concerned about where my data is being stored i'm just concerned about what my data is is the data correct is the data consistent is the data doesn't have any redundancy so for that particular things i am concerned but where my data is being stored at a physical storage what techniques they are using for optimizing what kind of indexing is going on for all those details i am not like very much bothered about so that is called as data abstraction we are not very much bothered about details like what is the index indexing approach we are using what kind of data structure we are using for storing the data at which memory location or disk the data is being stored i am not concerned about all those details so basically this is called as abstraction basically uh, we are abstracting something from the user we are abstracting all those details from the user user is just interacting with data at a higher level so there are multiple levels of abstraction so let's see about all those levels so there are three levels of abstraction let's see about all those three levels so the first level is called as physical level which is you can say the lowest level now the second one is logical level and the third one is called as view level so let's understand uh, about all these levels of abstraction from an example so first let's start with the definition and then we will be lo uh, looking at an example and we will be understanding all these three levels from the same example so first level is physical level so this is the lowest level of data abstraction it describes how data is actually stored in the database you can get the complex data structure details at this level so let's take an example again the same example which i took in the last slide so i am having a student db student database okay now this level tells me how data is actually stored so consider i am having this student database 
there are many datas in this particular table or the database now consider that this particular element or this particular database is being stored at a memory location or you can say ssd hard disk anything so basically it is being stored physically at a storage location so in this physical level we get to know that where the data is being stored so at this level now what you can do you can also uh, optimize your data so how you can optimize your database is key you can perform some techniques you can use some data structures which will help you in proper optimization like there are b trees hash map and many thing hashing so you can use that particular approaches and that particular methods to optimize your database so basically here you are just concerned about where your data is being stored in a simpler terms so i am having a student database and i am only concerned about where the student database is being stored simple now going to the logical level so basically logical level um, can you relate with the term logical so whenever we are doing something logical some logical operations are being performed like creation of a database adding some constraints into database identifying what is the relationship um, among the data elements like these all things are taken care in the logical level so this is the middle level of three level abstraction architecture it describes what data is stored in database so here basically it was all about how data is stored and in this level we were concerned about what data is stored so basically coming to the same example now i know that there is a student database now i am making some tables consider there is a student table consider there is a table with uh, student feed details or something like that so there are multiple tables for student student uh, table which is having details about their first name last name roll number and etc student fee details where they are having all the details about when they paid the fees what were their fees and uh, how much money they have paid together like some details like this so basically at logical level what we do na ki we make some tables like student we uh, provide some data to them then we uh, establish some relationship among them or we identify that what is the relationship between the student name or student roll number or the student fee details and various thing so basically all the logical things like creation of a student table then uh, addition of some attributes addition of some tuples in that particular student table so attributes basically means columns tuples basically means rows so addition of some rows and columns into the student table then providing a unique identity that uh, considered that id so id is something which is unique not all the students would be having the same id so providing some constraints and like much more things are done at a logical level so basically in logical level we are not very much concerned about where our data is being stored or what all things we are just concerned about ki what data is being stored okay so the very third level is the view level so highest level of abstraction is called as view level this level describes the user interaction with database system so again taking the same example now consider there is a student database right so consider i am a teacher and my friend is someone who is working in the uh, accounts team okay so as a teacher i would need some details of student like roll number subjects uh, student id and as someone who is from account team they would need details like student fees paid in the month or month like these details so according to the need i can have multiple tables like if i am someone who is from the account team i am majorly concerned about what is the student uh, fee details in which month they have paid uh, till which month they have already paid till which month uh, it is pending like all those details which is needed to me at a teacher level i would be just concerned about what the student name is what additional subject they have taken or what is their roll number or what is their student id so in the view level what happens na ki there are multiple uh, like uh, there are multiple views which we can see and which gives us like uh, you can say which gives us the opportunity to only see that particular data which concerns to me consider that i am in a school right so my principal can see all the data related to student related to teachers related to staffs 
now coming to teachers teachers can see all the re uh, data related to students now coming to students student couldn't see any data right so this was all about this video i hope you like the video so if you like the video please hit the like button if you are someone who is new to my channel please hit the subscribe button also if you are getting benefited from this series please share it among your friends uh, till then take care keep learning keep growing bye all